antioxidants be harmful? We have all seen the scene when these lovely fresh apples become dark and brown during a process called oxidation. The exact same phenomenon happens in our body when the cells are attacked by various reactive oxygen species or ROS, causing the cells to die. This is referred to as oxidative stress. Today we know that oxidative stress is associated with over 100 different diseases, causing the birth of a new field named redox biology. This oxidative stress is so powerful that it can cause damage to many macromolecules in the body, for example proteins, lipids, and the DNA. However, the good news is that there are various substances that defend our body against oxidative stress. These defenders are the antioxidants. There are basically two types of antioxidants. One is endogenous antioxidants, which are produced in the body, like catalase, and the other one is exogenous antioxidants, which are received from the outside of the body, like the vitamin C or vitamin E found in food. These two arms of the antioxidant system work together to battle the everlasting oxidative stress happening in the body. So, antioxidants are protecting our cells, and generally speaking, they are necessary to maintain our health. But are they always good? The more antioxidants in your body, the better? Well, the answer is no. Today, studies have found out that antioxidants can act as double-edged swords, meaning that if they are present at the wrong time, wrong place, or wrong dosage, they can actually be harmful. Or in better words, antioxidants easily become pro-oxidants. In fact, there are some reports out there mentioning important antioxidants like vitamin C, EGCG, which is the major antioxidant of green tea, and beta carotene showing pro-oxidant activity instead of antioxidant activity in some situations. But why? Because they were used when they were not supposed to be used or better said, wrong time, wrong place, or wrong dosage. Now, the question is, what, where, and when? Is it the right dosage, place, or time? Well, the answer is not straightforward. Most studies are using some sort of trial and error to find out the right time, right place, and right dosage. Anyway, although it is hard to differentiate right from wrong when it comes to antioxidant usage, there is one thing for sure. If you are a healthy person with a healthy diet, you need nothing more than what antioxidants you get from your diet. So any extra antioxidants entering your body from supplements, multivitamins, can easily act as potential pro-oxidant, causing your body harm rather than protection. So the lesson over here is, if you are using multivitamins or other supplements just for fun, or you just feel you need them, then you might want to rethink your action. Remember, if you can't help, do no harm.